It's cheap, sustainable, and even earthquake resistant. It feels wonderful to touch something that has texture. Bamboo is a popular building material in Latin America and Southeast Asia. In Bali, American architect Elora Hardy uses it to design furniture, houses, and even this village. In the forest, for a bamboo pole to mature, it takes uh, three to four years. And on top of that, it's growing within a clump that's just sending up a new generation of shoots every year for decades. So there's no replanting. Wood is rare on the island, and local communities have been using bamboo for centuries. But just an hour's drive north of here, it's starting to run low. According to Global Forest Watch, Bali lost 16,000 acres of tree cover in primary forests between 2001 and 2018. A local environmental group, Bali Regreen, is working on bamboo reforestation. It's already replanted 30,000 bamboos. We're trying to tackle the three issues with bamboo. First is uh, providing enough protection for the land. Usually the bamboo growing in a place like this. Most likely going to be landslide and stuff like that. So if we put the bamboo over here, they're protecting from there. And then bamboo also could be raising the water level. Back at the design studio Hardy founded, a group of 50 creative designers, architects and engineers are working on preserving, adapting and exporting that local knowledge. Our bamboo is treated already with like a kind of like boron solution. There is the process to release all the sugar content inside of bamboo, so the bug doesn't want to eat that. We are using this material, so we are reducing other material that may be like uh, need to produce with high energy. Although bamboo looks like the ideal material to help reduce carbon emissions in the construction sector and save energy, it's barely used at all in Europe and North America. A lack of experience and old construction codes could be why it's not so popular there yet.